a cozy winter refresh in my living space. I have done a few little things to make my space fresh and new for the winter season and for future. So I love our little cozy home of 950 square foot, but with small spaces, there sometimes needs to be some change. So I wanted to really cozy up this space, especially here in the winter months for when we're inside more. And I also wanted to just do some deep cleaning. So first of all, we decided to remove our TV because it was on this TV trunk and it was on this old trunk that we're going through that we had not opened in five or six years. And the trunk reeked of mothballs inside and so we had a garbage bag all for donation and a garbage bag all for trash because if we did not even know what was in there there was no reason to keep it we found this whole box of little matches we did keep all those because those are useful but really there was a lot of stuff that was unnecessary and so as you can see we took the top part off looked in there and found a few little treasures of course that we had to keep like my husband's nerf guns and a few wedding things and some old photo albums but other than that it's time to get rid of it along with we decided to clean our carpets now carpet is one thing that I wish we did not have in this space, but it is what it is right now. And so we're just making do. And yes, the couch was quite awkward and heavy. So you're seeing me struggle here a bit, <laughs> but we took all the furniture out except the piano because that is a heavy, beautiful piece. And we were not going to move that. So we cleaned the carpets in that whole space, um, like my piano room and living room area, move the furniture out. And yes, for a whole day, the couch sat sideways in front of my kitchen sink and stove area so eating and doing dishes and stuff was a tricky one but we rented a carpet cleaner from our local ace hardware i cleaned some of the carpets my husband did some and i did the rug in our space and then also cleaned the carpet under it and it just felt so good to get everything clean from what was in it the water was just disgusting when we would dump it out and so just so good to get that cleaned up so we let our carpets dry for about 24 hours and then we put everything back in and then you did see me do this i added this green stand if you watched my how to do winter right video this was a thrifted piece quite a while ago and i put it next to our little single chair there to add some color, add a place to set drinks, and add some coziness with lamps and a couple garden books and some other just thrifted decor. So I just thought that was a nice little touch and it just made this space more glowing and warm and cozy for the winter season. I'm going to take a break from the winter refresh of my living area to share a dish with you. This is chili and chili is a go-to for me in the winter months. It's a very warm hearty dish because I do not make it thin. It's got to be thick like a stew. And so I do have a recipe over on my blog for an easy dump chili. That has canned tomato soup in it. This is a more natural version, does not have any um, sugar or sweetener, which tomato soup does if you buy it store-bought from a condensed can. So here I just do hamburger, some organic kidney beans, some of my home canned tomatoes, onions, some peppers, some garlic, add some of that good flavor. And then I add the spices of cayenne some chili salt pepper and just really season it to taste and i did add some canned corn actually so there's some can in there um, just because i had some on hand so then it's just going to simmer for a couple hours to add that really good flavor and chili is one of those dishes that it actually tastes better the next day because all the flavors just incorporate together really well
So feel free to head over to my blog, DavyKilling.com, to get the Easy Dump Chili Recipe, because that is a delicious one as well. All right, back to the refresh. This particular day, it was a day after a sickness, and so I thought, why not just take all my pillow covers off, give them a good wash, wash all my throw blankets, and then also vacuum the couch out and just get it cleaned up and done for um, just being nice for the rest of the season. And yes, all those little feathers came on my down-filled pillows. So our couch and love seat set is six years old to us. It was used when we got it and we have had to add extra support. That's what this little gray thing is underneath because otherwise the seat would sink so much that people would feel like they couldn't even get out of the couch. So it has done us well um, many, many years and then having kids and then in the love seat, we had to throw a blanket in the back because that's starting to collapse too what you deal with when you buy used and have it for many, many years and you only pay $100 for it. But it is so comfortable and the color is great. I really like the neutral color and so it is just doing well for us. But I wanna take care of it still. So I'm cleaning it out and then just putting the cushions back on and getting the hair and some of the other gunk vacuumed off that might be there as well. a little DIY project in my living space. So my built-in shelves, I wanted to put some wallpaper there. I tried in the fall a different wallpaper pattern and some of you probably noticed I took it down and left with the white. It was, the other wallpaper was pulling colors of purple. The pattern was just too much for me and I really was not a huge fan. I left it up for about a month but it just really was not suiting the space very well. I really think this pattern is more me. It's more, um, again, I'm gonna say neutral, but it does have pattern. It just fits this space much better and it actually sticks on the wall better. It's a better wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper. And so while I thought, okay, if I'm taking the shelves down and putting this wallpaper behind it, I decided to actually end up touching up the paint after I did the wallpaper so you'll see that too but wallpaper is this peel and stick is tricky sometimes especially on a little built-in shelf to get it lined up just right to get to stick right because the previous owners had wallpaper on it I had painted over it so it's kind of got a rough texture already to it so it's hard to get the wallpaper flat but it took probably an hour or so and just wanted to get it flat and smooth and then had to ex add an extra little piece there to cover the side but DIY projects always for me seem to take a little bit longer than I anticipate but I do like how it turned out so well. Now to the paint touch-up. So I did have I think just um, off the shelf white in our living area on the trim and around this trim of the built-ins and those little cabinets below. And I wanted it a little bit warmer. And White Dove is a go-to for me. I painted our bedroom in White Dove. Our little guest cottage has White Dove in it. It's just a warm, neutral, warm white. And I think it goes well in almost any home. So that is what I did. I used the White Dove for this space and that took the nap time to paint so not too long but just enough time for me to listen to a couple good podcasts and do some painting i also painted the shelves as well because they were scratched up they had probably some stains on them and just decor scratches when you put heavier things on them just leave scratch marks and got dirty and just nice to have a fresh coat of white paint time to put all the 
the pillow covers back on, get them all set back on the couch and the chairs where they belong, get the blankets back where they need to go, and then I am going to be using a pilling machine. I've talked about this before. It's just a battery operated um, little machine that gets pills off of clothing and furniture. And so I'll link it in my description box below, either on my Amazon store or where I have it say Amazon favorites. It's really pretty affordable from Amazon and it does such a great job. I don't know if you can see here on the close up of this pillow, but there were a bunch of little pills and it just smooths it out so well. It takes a little bit of time, but it really makes everything look so much nicer and almost new again. After some cozying up in the living room, it is time for our supper of the chili. It simmered for a couple hours and now it is delicious, ready to serve and to enjoy with some sour cream, cheese, some tortilla chips, avocado, and it is just a hearty meal. All right, it's still the same day, so I am working on this project after kiddos are in bed, putting my shelves back in the built-in after they dried from painting them making sure they fit well because they do scratch the edges a little bit because it is a tight fit if I'm not careful. And then just putting up my decor, adding the final cozy touches to my lovely new built-in that I am oh so enjoying a lot. And then also I did repaint our trim around the living space in the White Dove. And it's just so nice to make it fresh even if no one else really notices i know i do and it just is so satisfying to see the white clean white dove without all the nick marks there was even painting over dust that won't come off i don't know if any of you ever have that but that was just so nice to have that done and here is my final living room again I did not do a lot of renovating. We had the white dove on hand already. We really didn't pay for much other than the rental of the carpet shampooer. So I hope you enjoy coming along on my winter refresh and that you can refresh your space that you wish and make it a place you love and enjoy so that it's cozy for you this winter season and truly all throughout the year.